Okay, so let's get a good look at it. It's the Yugo rucksack from Yugoslavia. Let's get a look at some of the internals on this thing. So right away on the inside, you've got this little pouch in the, in the inside here. I wanna make sure that you can see that, that little pouch. So you have a little pouch on the inside. You have this bag that comes out. Okay, little pouch on the inside. This is the little bag that comes out. Comes out of there. It has a little drawstring enclosure. I can't find the drawstring right now, but that's it. Um, then you have this outside pack here. Now some of them have the Velcro. This one was made in 1993, so this is one of the newer ones. And a uh, little pouch on the outside there. Mine's an older one. It has the metal enclosures. These straps on the bottom, okay? These are pretty interesting. There, you can tie these off, and then you have another thing on the back here. This thing here is so you can hook it to your belt. So if uh, your pants were falling down or you uh, needed some way to hold your pants, maybe wearing a pistol belt, this will hook right to it. And that's the purpose behind that. If I can button it again. There we go. And so that's what it looks like. And you get D-rings on the side of all these packs. And then the back of it is extremely well padded. You can see the different padding sections on it. It's a pretty comfortable day pack. Uh, I've loaded one up. I'm going to try to get out there in the field and show you uh, how I pack it up. But good leather straps. They're just a damn good bag. I paid uh, $17 for two of these and uh, couldn't be happier. And so there it is. You can see that it hooks into the uh, the pistol belt and actually helps hold your pistol uh, in place with these two. That's what these two straps are for. I hope I got a good picture of that. Uh, it's kind of hard to film late in the day, but I hope that uh, explains some of it to you. That's from one side. There it is on the other side. Okay, right off the bat, you see I've got my shelter element right here in this tarp system. Inside the tarp, I have a bungee cord, some clips, and of course some tent pegs. It's all folded up inside here as a shelter system. We'll go to the first initial pocket, show you what I carry in here. Remember the other one had Velcro? This one has those metal snaps. So what I have in here is I have a whistle. And the reason behind the whistle is as a signaling device, if I get lost or something happens. Another thing too is if you ever find yourself out of ammo or unarmed, a lot of times this whistle will, uh, will scare game, it'll scare predators because it's an unnatural sound, it's a sound they're not used to hearing in the wild. And that's what it sounds like. And I also have a little can opener on there. Um, I have an orange bandana, I have my uh, uh, blanket, my thermal reflective blanket in here, this is the heavy duty one have my hunting license. Uh, in here, this can be used as a chart tin, but what I use it for is a waterproof container from my back tracker. And I just keep my back tracker in there with some spare batteries. And you're wondering why it's pink, it's because I'm securing my manhood and it was on sale. So, yeah, I have a pink back tracker. And uh, that slides down in there. I also have a flashlight. Good Harbor Freight flashlight, can't go wrong with that. And what else in the front pocket? I have a good orange uh, pocket knife with an orange lanyard on it. Little clip on there. Good little knife for uh, just general, general use. We'll slip that back in here. Okay, like that. Hunting license right up front where I need it. My signaling device if I'm hurt or lost. I like to keep that within handy reach. Just so I have it. I made the cord long enough to where I could wear it as a necklace. You know, if I was too sick to, uh, to shout out or tired of shouting, 
I could use that whistle to signal for help. Remember, three of anything is the international distress signal. These can be a little tricky. Got to kind of push them in there. So that's the first uh, first initial pocket, and then here's the water bottle pocket. So what do I have in the water bottle pocket? Is a water bottle and a survival straw. Good hank of paracord. And just some extra cord for tying things off. So that's what I keep in there. We'll get into the main compartment here. And I'll show you what I have in there. Okay, let's get into the guts of this pack. That's what it looks like inside. Let me show you some of the things I have in here. Uh, the first thing I have is a small skinning kit. Remember, this is a, a day pack, a field kit, if you will. So it's meant for short excursions into the woods, and uh, it just gives me the necessary survival stuff I need if something were to happen. So I have a skinning kit here. I have some nice, good, thick rubber gloves, some uh, handy wipes from uh, Barbecue, great steak and barbecue. These are just the, the handy wipes I give you when you buy ribs. And a couple of, uh, you know, uh, Mayo Clinic, uh, you know, plastic bags to store carcasses in, you know, squirrel, rabbit, whatever. And, uh, and it's just a simple caping knife and a skinning knife. That's what goes in here. A little two-part set deal. Uh, tends to work the best for me. That's a good thick knife with a good thick spine on it if I need to... Uh, really get into some heavy stuff. I have a nice canteen cup here, okay? And I keep my headlamp in here. In this little pouch. So I can see at night. I have some Gorilla Tape. Good roll of Gorilla Tape. You can't go wrong with that. A million uses for that. And in here I have some tea, some coffee, and some more tea. I put the Gorilla Tape on top of that so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the cup. Get my headlamp back in here, and that's that. Off to the side, I have your standard rain poncho, clear plastic standard rain poncho. Um, and then I have, of course, baby wipes. A million uses for these. Number one uses if you have to take a uh, take a trail restroom break. Those are really nice to have with you. Okay. At the very bottom, I have these. 3 mil uh, or 5 mil uh, 55 gallon drum liners and these are good for filling with uh, debris making yourself a mattress you can use them for shelter you can also use them for carrying out the quarters of an elk if you need to I mean they're a lot of uses for these what else do I got in here I have a comb and a pen and a couple of uh, couple little energy bars to keep me going, give me some fuel if I need it. And then I have, over on this side, a good old-fashioned space blanket. Um, you know, a lot of people don't realize, but you can take these space blankets, wrap them around you, and then put your clothes on, and uh, they'll act as a, an insulation layer. A lot of uses for these. And uh, an IFAC kit. Now, my IFAC kit, I always keep a little mirror in case I get something in my eye. These little cosmetic mirrors, you know, they're kind of gay, but uh, they're a powerful mirror, man. If you got to get inside your eye or something, that'll you'll be glad you had that. Inside the IFAC kit, the individual first aid kit, I mean, I just have your standard stuff. Nothing nothing fancy in here. Um, I got some aspirin, some Q-tips, hearing protection, uh, some ibuprofen, some Tums, and uh, I also keep a thing of super glue in here in case I have to suture myself up. I can use that super glue as a liquid suture. So that's how I handle my first aid needs in the field. And of course I have the bandana and the gorilla tape if it's a much larger wound. So that little pocket I was trying to show you in the earlier video, this is where I've dedicated my fire starting stuff. I have an unopened orange bic lighter, a thing of cotton balls, one of those Yuko. These are really good. These are the Yuko stormproof matches. They come with th three uh, three strikers. You got one on the outside, two on the inside, and 
I want to say they give you about 25, 30 of these stormproof matches in here. It's kind of a good little thing. I really dig this. It's about two bucks more than a little red one for a dollar, but uh, it's chunky. It's beefy. What else do I have in here? I have one of the old Bear Gryllis, uh, Bear Gryllis Ferrocerium rods, so a few different ways to make fire there. I also have emergency sunglasses. These fold out. They go on your head. Little emergency sunglasses. A little comfort item. And then another thing I keep in here is I keep a family picture. And you say, why do you have that in there, Bill? Why do you have a family picture? Well, if I get really hurt uh, in a bad way, I can look at that and hopefully it'll give me a little bit of strength and, and get me out of the situation I'm in. At least remind me why I'm why I'm persevering, you know, why I'm continuing on. Keep me from losing hope. That's important. Let's get this pack back up. First, uh, first thing that goes in. Well, I'm not going to bore you with packing it back up, but that's what I keep in my kit. Uh, until the next time I see you, this is Bill with Cody Outdoor Recreation. Stay safe, stay warm, keep yourself free.